My name is Ruben. And I'm Joanna. And this is our crazy story of how God redeemed us. Uh, I was 18 years old when I met Ruben and we started off as friends. Um, a couple years down, uh, we reunited and we ended up getting together. We got married and we started our family. What my wife didn't know is I was hiding a drug addiction throughout our marriage. And when I couldn't hide it any longer, um, I let her use with me. Um, eventually, it wouldn't take long for everything to spiral out of control after that. Um, we started to uh, commit fraudulent crimes to support our addiction. And um, eventually, I would go to jail. While I was sitting in my cell, I was so starting to sober up and reality was starting to kick in. And um, just the weight and the heaviness of everything that I put not only her but my children through was almost too heavy to bear. Um, I single-handedly destroyed my family because of my addiction. Um, I remember a thought came into my mind about going back to church, but as quickly as it came into my mind, I quickly dismissed it. Three days later, I was at a Wednesday service and I gave my life back to Christ. While my husband was uh, walking with God at that time and I saw the, the change in him, he was no longer addicted to drugs and he was now living for God and I didn't understand it but I saw that he was so happy and full of joy and, and I was on the outside looking in and I was happy for him but I was a little envious because I didn't have that. In fact, I was the opposite of that now. I was further into my addiction. I was in a darker place. I had began a relationship with another man and I was committing more crimes now to support my habit. There was an, an incident I do remember uh, where my wife chose this man over me and I remember it hurt me really bad first and foremost as a man as her husband. I remember going back um, to my room that night and I fell on my knees and I remember starting to cry and, and I prayed to the Lord and I asked him, what do I do in this situation? I, I really don't know what to do. I didn't hear anything. Later on that day, um, I was in my car and um, I remember turning on the ignition and I remember hearing the pastor say these words, I hate divorce, says the Lord God of Israel. And I remember jumping up and down my seat because that was the first time that I ever heard confirmation from God. That was the first time I ever heard Him speak to me and really know that it was Him saying that. And so I remember saying, if you hate it, then I hate it too. Eventually my crimes caught up to me and I ended up getting arrested for them. Um, I went to jail and while I was there and the drugs wore off, I began to feel the weight of the guilt and the shame that I had felt and I couldn't bear it. I, I, could, I could hardly breathe and um, I remember just crying out and I cried out to the same God that my husband had given his life to and, um, and I just asked him if he would forgive me and I asked him if he would restore me and if he would restore my family back. He didn't do it immediately, and um, he didn't take my sentence away or anything like that. That's not what I wanted. What I wanted was to be able to breathe again and to not feel that guilt and that shame. And right then and there, I felt a great weight lifted off my shoulders. I, even though I was in jail, I felt like a free woman for the first time. It was uh, the moment that I, I truly God reminded me of the forgiveness that He's given me and that I received, and how can I not forgive her at that time? I just remember God really just softening my heart and saying, I've forgiven you, heaven. You need to forgive her. And so the moment I did that, um, we just started, it, everything just kind of fell into place after that, but it really came when we forgave each other. There was so much power in forgiveness. And the moment that we both forgave each other, was the moment that we knew that that everything was going to be okay. 